Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we put the finishing touches on our very grand green circuit array. And it is actually making green circuits now. These, uh, the belts, of course, as I mentioned last time, are not going to be full until we have modules in all of the machines. Now, there are a few making extras and stuff, but they're not even going to be fast enough until we get these beacons with the speed modules in them. So we're missing a lot of modules, and that also affects the smelting that leads into. That's why those belts aren't full. So anyway, but we are getting a lot of circuits as proven by bringing this lovely circuit train out here, which has over 8,000 uh, green circuits in it, which is kind of great, kind of great, really fabulous. So what we wanted to do is build another train station um, to kind of unload those into the factory itself. So let's get that going. I think what we'll do here is we have a, let's move the radar out here. Okay, and then do we need, okay, that's just steam engine stuff. There, this is a robo port. I don't think we actually need that though. So let's do a new thingy. Let's do a blacklist of trees and use this to just delete this stuff here. Okay, and then be a little bit neater when we talk about this stuff here. Um, this is a bit of a mess, right? All this has got to move, all this stuff. Let's just erg. Hmm. Okay, that's also got to move. That's not working at all, is it? No, it's not. So let's get this stuff out and see what we can do here. So we have a box for solid fuel uh coming out that's going to be important so what we're going to do is we want to get a four uh four track like this like the uh this station here like the um stone like this one so we're gonna let's shift click this right and get some of this stuff off let's take all the pumps and pipes we don't need any of that this stuff uh pipes all we need is this station here. This is looking pretty good. I don't think we need any of that. None of this extra track there. We'll snip off the rest as we can. I don't think we can. Oh yeah, we can do a little bit of it. That's fine. Uh, that doesn't need to be there either. That looks like it's there, but it's. I'm trying to click it and it's just not going. It's okay though. So uh, this looks pretty good. We don't need this power pole either. They look awfully dark sometimes, these. All right, so we'll take that off too. And then let's grab this, create thingy. So this is what we want to have now, I think. All right, looks like this thing is not needed. Okay, so let's just control V this now. Get it as close as we reasonably can. Okay, there we go. And take this off. And just move this elsewhere like there is fine. Yeah, that's looking much better. Control V again and replace. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Something is very wrong here. Something is not quite correct. Can we? No. Yeah, we can do this, but this needs to go. I don't know why it's not letting me build over it, because it should, technically. Hmm. All right, also, we're going to upgrade all of this stuff here into blue. Okay, and I'm around here too, so let's change this also to being green circuits. There you go. And then let's remove this. Oh, there's also that. That might be the problem. Yep, okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, that's why that wasn't working. 
I was like, why isn't it letting me build over this? Because uh, once you deconstruct something, it's counted as not there for all intents and purposes. And yeah. Okay, so let's see. This thing needs to go there. And this is a loading of fuel thing. Okay, I don't know why we have multiple of these. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so this one needs to be a this. There we go. Okay, and this is going to be green circuits. So call this base. Uh, base green GC drop off. We'll go here and grab the green circuit symbol so it's easier to find. I find that my eyes, uh, and I don't know if it's because I'm an artist or what, but my eyes really gravitate when we look at the train list, when I can look at the colors and that's so much easier for my brain to see than just, um, non, non colors, you know, your regular kind of words. But I don't know if that's just me or if that's everybody, but it certainly works for me. So I'm going to go with it. All right. So this one, which is here, that's the correct train. We're going to go to here where I am now. Uh, brace. Okay. So that's going to be the next one. And we're going to say empty cargo. Okay. Uh, and I know why it's not working. Let's go and fix that. That is because of this. Ray. Yeah, that ain't so good. Ain't looking good. There we go. Okay, good. So now the train is en route. And then this needs to just be connected to our main bus. Now, <laughs> that's going to be fun. So remember, we needed a, um, a supplier chest for the fueling. So let's put that there. We're going to put that like this. We'll just have like half a, you know what? We'll have like two rows. That's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, and of course we need more than that. Erg. So I want to see where we want to insert these lines onto the bus here. Um, I think we don't have room except in like this another, another section here where we can put in some lines. Now this is, this is coming off as blue for now. Here we go. We'll just get a chunk here that we can copy over. We can do this from map mode. Oh, that's not great. I don't want to do that. Do that again. Okay. And this is also not great when we do this. I shouldn't have done that because it's just sloppy and I was trying to be useful, but it's not useful when it doesn't work well. There we go. And right now it's not working well because it's impeding this other stuff that we've got going here. Okay. And this is where we're connecting. So that's perfect. That is just perfect. Let's go and get our belt book belts quick and right turn, which is going to be here. Yes. Okay. I like doing this where you copy one thing and then you can just move them across. Same thing here. Actually, let's do this because it's nicer to uh, it's more efficient, this here. Okay, this is looking pretty decent. So now we can copy these guys and have them in places like this. Uh, and then use them here. And go here and go there. All right. So, uh, what we want to do probably is the very first section here, 
I need to probably go down there and fix this myself. Uh, because we're going to have to, because it's separated by such a long distance from the other belts, we're going to have to do some kind of forced mergings where we have to cross more of the bus. So what I want to do here is we want to put everything to the left now. So output priority to the left, make sure that that belt is full of circuits. Okay, so what we do here then is we go like this, go across, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a merger, and then all of these mergers, we're going to force it to the left, output priority left. Okay, so this one is going to go up, and then, so we see that this one is not a full belt here. Uh, so that means we can't totally take off this one because there is some coming. But as we're kind of like making them uh, merge, then we're going to be able to do some different stuff, I hope. So control V and let's go to the this, that. Okay, and this is not great. Ah, no. The rocket fuel's got to move. All right, so this is one, two, and it should go here. Actually, that belt, uh, the belt does need to move because it's a red belt. I forgot. Okay, let's take the rocket fuel off. All this stuff. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. This is gonna go the whole way, kind of. Yeah. So we can do that. Let's also do this. Get these off. Control V. Yeah, there we go. Ay yay ay, ay. Too much stuff on the ground, folks. So So now let's copy the entire thing. And the reason I take not just one set of tiles here, like I don't take a slice like this, for example, because when you're in map mode, sometimes the thing tends to skip if you, because the scroll rate is so high. Um, so basically you want to just make sure that it's working. And when you have a bigger uh, chunk thing that you're doing, it works better. It just works better. Okay, so we have certain stuff here happening. Okay, that's fine. We have a shifter there. Let's have another. Let's see, let's where where else are we going with the shifters? There's one up here. So this is where we really need the green circuits. Okay, this is where we need them. And it looks like we could even. Well, it is actually getting to the end, so we don't have any issues with this right now. But what we could do here instead is we could put in some modules, and I think that would work really nicely. Oh my god, we have so many processing units. Also, we forgot about our spider trons. Whoops. Uh, we were gonna... Oh no, we didn't even put the other one together. Oh no. That is so sad. Aw. Okay, well... We don't have much choice. Let's go in because we have to be down there because we have the equipment for the new Spider-Tron. So can't do much. Can't do much, alas. Okay, so this is actually now working. It is working right now. So what we can do here is I think we can actually extend this thing if we want to or build another one. Uh, that is possible. Um... So that we have enough red chips to make enough blue chips to make enough everything chips. The blue chips also, they need more... Um, oh, they're just suffering on the red chips still. Okay. Well, I think I think the idea, the new, the, the solution here is to make more plastic and make another array of red chips. Or we simply redesign this red chip array to have modules. And I think that might be the better idea. Um... Wow, we have so many blue chips. I'm going to put them in our thingy. Wait, what? Hello? Why is it asking for that many blue chips? I don't want 400. No, no, no. 100 is enough. Thanks. Thank you. We appreciate your service. Goodbye. Uh, you take those. Take these. I don't need any of those. 
Uh, landfill, eh, it's fine. So we do, however, need those modules and I don't see any, unfortunately, I would love to have some though. I don't, I would love to have some give please. But, uh, do we have speed three modules? No, we don't have any of those either, but we do have speed ones, I think, right? Yeah, we do. So what we can do is, um, we need a certain amount of space for these things, right? So if we do this, we can actually insert some mod, some uh, beacons. Get some beacons here. And it looks like that The important part here is actually the modules, but, or the productivity modules, because without the productivity modules, uh, we are going to do a speed modules, but it's, um, kind of not ideal. So let's see, let's get in our beacons. We can definitely do the beacons right now. Let's see, this area is not covered with a roboport, so we need to extend this. Okay, not quite that high. Be cautious, be careful. All right, let's get the thingies on. Let's get beacons, 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 beacons there. Take that off. Anything else we can take off here? That can go off. I like to have some stuff to do, some ghost things here. Okay, so these are three by three. You never want to have them in line like this. That's bad because they only touch three machines. So if you have them one tile off, and I know that's going to annoy people, but it doesn't matter. It's actually better for your factory. So always have them one tile off. But we need to do, we actually need to do this differently. We need to get the speed modules in. Come on, can you make a thing here? Bots, please. Please. Please do the thing. In the meantime, let's watch and see. Do we have a power armor? Let's see. Do we actually have a power armor? Did we make one? Yes, we made one. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to be proactive and just, yeah. All right. Also, I'm also going to be proactive about the modules here. Let me just, okay, those are being cut right there. So let's just put another cut here uh, to stop those being made. Is this here? It is here. Okay. So we're going to use speed ones because this is actually quite effective. It's only, it's plus 20%. So it's something rather than nothing land. Mm hmm. So we're just going to walk down and just copy these all over the place or as much as we can, basically. Oops, rock. No. Oh, no. Should have hit shift there. Okay. Did we get all of them or did we miss a shift? No, I think we got all of them. Oh, yeah, we didn't get this one. Didn't get that one. Okay. But now we're going to get speed on these guys. And it also means that we can delete this entire thing as well. Let's see, up to, let's just delete the entire thing and we'll copy the other one straight off. And also these guys need to be moved back. I want to definitely move these so that they are several away. That's better. Uh, of course, the second one didn't copy because we still have these armaments here, which is not ideal. We don't need them at all. And let's get a power pole for each of these uh, lovely roboports. We love roboports. They're great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to copy this whole area here. This whole thing. Copy. And then flip it with 
Is it F? Yes, it is F. It is F. Good, 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 good. There we go. That's the right one, I believe. Yes, perfect. I love that flipping thing. That I'm so glad they added that to vanilla. Yes, to new players, that didn't used to be in the thing at all. So we're happy that it's here now. Hooray. Okay, so that should get things moving a little bit faster. So this has to affect sources, meaning it has 40% extra crafting speed. So that's really nice. Um, that's a pretty good thing to happen. Now inside, there really isn't enough room for these uh, crafting beacons. And keep in mind that this is a um, uh, brain. Come back. This is not meant to be a super high production thing because of the way um, we've set it up. It's meant to be a belted, you know, initial first, you know, thing, thing. Yeah, it's not meant to be a end game outpost build. So that we will get to, but it is not needed right now. So let's figure out what's going to happen here. We need to kill some biters. Let's go. We're ready for it. Actually, let's just go that way. Ah, oh, this is looking like really good progress here. Yep, very good, very good. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I just got a secret glimpse at... Uh, some sexy stuff that Tumbling Satellite is doing for his birthday stream. I hope you will check it out. I don't know what day this is going out, so it might be already over. I don't know, but it's going to be on the 26th of December on Boxing Day. It's his birthday. And um, so I hope you'll, you'll join him and me. I will be there for sure uh, to keep him company. And... Um, he, he has this new uh, kind of gimmick that he's doing for his base. Now, he's really interesting as a content creator because he doesn't play mods. He only plays Vanilla Factorio. But he finds interesting ways to play Vanilla Factorio that are kind of out of this world, which is a little bit, yeah, kind of his theme because he's a satellite engineer. He regularly does things out of this world. So anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be really fun, I think. Let's go. Actually, let's go here and heal up. Okay, we're back here again. Now, do I get any modules? Can I please have some modules thing? Come on. Why are you not making any for me? Yo, I need. I need stuff. All right, let's go and find the module maker and see if we can feed it some blue chips. Oh, why is this not working? Yo. Okay, we have new problems. New problems are happening. Um, let's see. This, yes. Here, take my stuff. Take all my stuff. Give me stuff. I want to um, add the modules to some of the thingies. Make sure that they are made. So what's happening here? We're not getting steel, it looks like, and nor are red chips. Where's the steel? This is confusing. Why do we have no steel? Hello? Hello? Like, ah... Somebody forgot to reconnect the coal belt. <clears throat> who knows who that could be? Not like it was me or anything. Grumble. Might have slightly forgotten to do that. Might have just slightly. Is there a bunch of stuff here? Wow. That's 2.4k. Out of logistics range. That's not very good either. Let's put this over here, because obviously that stuff can't go there if we don't have the proper things to support it. Okay, right. So we were looking at what? Uh, red chips still. Yep. We definitely... Oh, we got two. Ooh, that's tasty. I feel like stealing some from elsewhere. Also, this would be more effective with level three modules, but I feel like it's more important just to have, you know, the right things. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. Let's turn off. Oh, something ran out of. 
Oh no! A train ran out of fuel. That's not good. Which one is this? Oh, it's the green circuit one. No, help. Okay, so that's a cool... That's one thing that I wish Spider-Trons could do. Refuel trains without having to go there. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so... So, right. Let's see if there's another Spider-Tron available. We can get the power armor, though. And that is lovely because it's going to increase our... Um, our thingy. Yeah, more... More stuff in our uh, thing. Also, we now can have legs in our power armor. It's pretty great stuff. Pretty great. Okay, there's no reactor, so I'm gonna... Oh, I can't even steal one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Steal some of those. I don't need those. You can have those back. Thank you. Thank you. Well, darn it. That's a bit rough. Yeah, but it's the it's the red chips I think currently holding this up right now because of the Okay, why is stuff not working right now? Is it working? These are not in place yet. Why are these not in place? Why are we not making enough stuff and things? Are we? There aren't any in here. Okay. So we're just lacking gears mostly. I think it's time to maybe put speed modules in these gear makers. Let's try that. Let's just go here. Okay, speed modules there. And then we also need to have speed on in terms of the this stuff, yeah, the belts, especially the ones coming off the bus uh, because they're like yellow speed. It's not that we, uh, and blue speed is okay too. Are we, we don't actually have blue speed assembling. Like we don't have blue speed smelters. We can't supply blue speed, but at least uh, these things are going to get stuff into here faster. We really needed red, but I just decided to upgrade for blue just for funsies um, because obviously we can't even supply at blue. So I'm not going to change anything else here, but that is giving us lots of stuff and actually we really need a some stack inserters here and these last ones because they do require so many materials. Oh, and these belts need to be improved as well. So let's fix that. That's needed. So those can go at red speed. That's nice. Okay, and so now we're going to get to really making a lot more of these things. We can even do a second one here. And the reason for that one would be any gears that are left behind on any of these things, this one could pick up. Doesn't look like they are, but if this one stops for whatever reason, um, you know what we can do also? Let's put in a regular uh, fast inserter on this side because this side has full capability of like taking all of them from this side. Um, it doesn't really need the right hand side. I'd rather those go to this machine there. Okay, it does look like things are going pretty well here. We're feeding as fast as possible. But let's see. This one is going here, which is fine. And then this one is pushing all this stuff here. Let's make sure that we have output left. So more and more are going to go to here. And actually what we can do is just make sure that this one gets full priority. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what we wanted really. So let's actually put these ahead like this and then copy, paste, paste. Okay. That's fine. And then it can keep on pushing there. All right. And that's going to definitely help us with stuff. Do we have any more? I don't think we have any more iron belts there, but that's going to help us uh, really improve our production of those things. All right. Let's see if I can get another reactor really need a reactor here for my uh, my power suit in any case though we can fill the react fill the the suit with stuff um, I need I need more legs let's see we can take like four legs maybe that's two three four oh whoops three four and then take two power um, roboports take two 
three, four batteries. May oh, wow, we have too many batteries. Wow, way too many. One, two, three, four lasers as well. Okay, so let's see how that fits in. So we're gonna have two sections with RoboPorts probably. Okay, so that's gonna be quite a few. So that's one, two, three, four. So two RoboPorts here. I usually like two because yeah, uh, it's nice. And then batteries, we can do a bunch on the bottom here. Those are pretty good when you are doing a lot of lasering and other stuff. But if we're caught in the middle of something, at least I won't be like defenseless, which is kind of nice. Not being, yeah, being defenseless is not great. It ain't good. All right, so let's take these out of here. Um, and we're just going to cut all of these requests, I think. We'll take these out as well, because those can be those can be repurposed into the system, I think. Those level two modules. Okay. Uh, right. So, so where's my reactor? Let's go. Come on, make me one, please. We'll just look for it in the box. Okay. That's going to help us. So there you go. One reactor. Good. Oh, we got shoes for running now. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, turning off my bots, turning off the nanobots as well. I'm going to steal uh, modules from here for a second because I need to make a copy of a building. So let's do those first. Let's make copies of these guys. So we're going to copy this. Okay, and then we're going to just, let's see, let's delete these guys. Delete these guys. I hate having to delete these. I don't understand why the devs don't add module inserter as some kind of module inserting thing as a, as a priority. I don't get it. Okay, so those are going to go there. Now we need them to go here as well. So let's delete this one. Copy this one over here and do that. Okay, so now, and also this one's got to go copy these again and put that one there so now we have this whole string copied or put into place so now we can delete all of these buildings and yes i know it's absolutely stupid that we have to delete them i agree i completely agree but that's the way we have to do it in vanilla so i really wish for a module inserter to happen Let's copy this set of buildings and take off everything except for, oh no, uh, we shouldn't take off the modules. That is important, but we can take off everything except the buildings. I guess we don't have to take off everything else, but it seems clearer to me to just do it this way. So there we go. Just putting these in place. So the bots will place the buildings, so we're gonna get some production. Um, but they will also be creating those module requests as well now. Okay, things are going really well. I think, I think it would be nice to get some artillery now. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if we should do like an artillery train stop or just do artillery at a wall here. Like we could do a wall right here and one right over there or something like that. I don't know. It's really kind of difficult. Or maybe we just do artillery. No, we have to do artillery near a wall or an emplacement because artillery will kill a lot of the spawners, but then the biters will come running. So that's not great. Not no, definitely not great. We need to look also at artillery shells. What we need to do for that. So these are cannon shells, artillery shells. There they are. We need to make explosive cannon shells plus explosives to make those happen. I guess we should set those up. That seems like a good plan right now. We already have you to artillery units. Do we have anything? No, we did not. S did, did this not work? Hello? So it, how is this not done yet? What? This is in range of a robo port and this has not been completed. What? That is so weird. Okay, so we now have bots. We now have also nanobots as well. I don't get that. I, I just don't, how did that even not happen? 
All right, this also needed to be set up with concrete, as I recall. So that's 100 concrete. That's fine. All right, that's weird. All right, let's go set up those cannon shells. Also, do we have any more? Yeah, we have just like six more chips. That's not great. Not great, my friends. 61, though. We might get a second uh, reactor, though, while we're here. That would be nice. But the run speed. Ooh, that's tasty. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, the cat likes to go zoom, zoom. I'm very good at it. <laughs> you can ask my friends. They they all they all talk about me as 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 the fast cat. Yes, I'm a fast cat. Okay, so so we need explosives. So what is this? So we need to make these. Um, oh, we don't need regular cannon shells. All right. So we need explosives, cannon shells, and explosives to make this. This also needs explosives. So all right, when we making when we're making the artillery shells. We need eight explosives in 15 seconds. All right, plus four explosive cannon shells. So these are, okay, four times this is, four times this is eight explosives in eight seconds. So one, no, we need eight and eight. Confusion. So four, yeah, we need eight of these and another eight. So we need 16 in 15 seconds. All right. So we need explosives at one per second, basically. How long does it take these to be made? These are, okay, so we need two of these machines per one of the other setup, right? And these need sulfur, coal, and water. So we need kind of a similar situation like we have over there. Let's put that on this side so we can have a little bit more room for this. So let's make a kind of the same thing. And we can have another line running up here as well. So if we flip this, we cannot flip this. Of course, we can't flip this. Why would we be able to flip it? That's such a silly idea, being able to flip stuff, you know. Hmm. Not a thing that I know anything about. Okay, so let's get this one along the bottom here. This is going to be, let's just make a, a little bit of room, a little bit of space. And that's on that level. That's just fine. And we need our that to go there. Perfect. Okay, so this is creating that stuff on that side. So the coal can go on this side. Perfect. Okay, great. All right. So we're going to need two of these things. How many? Let's see. The sulfur is two per second, and this needs one every four seconds. Yeah, so we just need one sulfur for this situation. Um, but we need two of these machines for sure. We already know that. Okay. All right. And and then um so after that comes the cannon shells, right? We need the explosive cannon shells which need steel and explosives. Okay. Steel and plastic, I mean. Steel and plastic. So it's going to be coming in here. So here's the steel. And we need the plastic as well. So plastic is here. That's weird that this happened. That's not a usual thing. Huh. Okay. Steel and plastic. Okay, gotcha. We got all the things now. Good, good, good. All right, let's get some power poles in here as well. Seems like those didn't transfer over very well. So we have things and or stuff. This also needs petroleum, which we haven't transferred yet. 
Let's just do this this way. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do this this way instead. Need to have a little bit of spacing with the pipes. Okay. So now, the cannon shells, I think they are in regular assemblers. Let's see if we can make this here. Okay, steel, plastic, explosives. Okay, very good. So that one is going to go into this one, right? And four, let's see. We need four of those per 15 seconds. So one per, I don't know, let's see. In eight seconds, we can only make one of these. All right, so we need two of these assemblers um, to work on those. Okay, that's fine. So this, I think, what we're going to do with this is do a... Do like this kind of thing to put this on the inside of the belt. Okay, so let's move these up. Put them over here instead clear the explosives here that side so that we can put them on the other side of the belt basically uh, because otherwise it's going to be a bit annoying um, and these need the plastic bars and the steel which is going to come in here okay so let's put in power poles here and there okay very good so that stuff is going to go there. We need to also insert from here. Oopsies. Come on. There you go. Okay. So now we're going to be making explosive cannon shells. And those in turn are going to be made into fun stuff. Fun stuff and things called artillery shells. Hooray. Alrighty. And artillery shells also need a radar, which is weird. But apparently it's needed. So what we can do here is do a this. And then maybe we'll have the other belt going here. And that will be the output belt of these things. And then the radars can come in a box here, which will be, yeah, like that. Sure. Okay, box requests radars. Uh, I don't know, like five, sure. And that'll feed both sides, I think. Um, that seems good. Now these rockets, are they going on one side of the belt? What they could do, what they should do, I feel, is they should go on one side of the belt. And then where are they being picked up? They're being picked up out here, I think. Right? Where's the where are the rockets going? Are they here? There they are. They're right here on this belt. Ah, and they're going are they being direct fed? I think they are. They're being direct fed into here. What we could do, let's change this a tiny bit and we need to actually what we could do. All we need to do is add another car to this train here. Yeah. This is weird. Why did I do this? That's strange. Oh, that was the, um, the blacklist one. Of course it was. Yes, I remember now. Um, but these guys, let's grab this set and these are going to be... The other ones, the other ones that are not rockets, they're going to be the artillery shells, which are here. Okay, great. Um, hmm. What I probably should do, though, is put an artillery car, I think, because they hold more shells than a wagon, because an artillery shell takes up an entire square. They don't stack at all. Uh, so I think that's what may need to happen here. Also, I think here we need to put in a filter. Um, and that filter is going to be... Let's see, let's do that real quick. 
This filter is going to be to the left. We're going to have artillery shells only. Yep. So control X this. Go into goddess mode with M. M for goddess mode. Mm -hmm. So that'll go there. Okay, fun. Uh, all right, so now this belt is going to come down and create mayhem. No, it's fine. It's actually fine. Uh, let's see. Let's take this, though. I think we missed that tree. Yes, we did. Okay. And now uh, maybe we take this coal belt and move it slightly like this. This kind of. There we go. Beautiful. Take that there. Okay, cool. And then we might have to move it further because opposite side and all that. Um, I guess we can just kind of copy this upward if possible. I don't know if we can though. The, the sulfur, I guess we don't need more sulfur machines. We were just needing more of the other ones. Let's see if we can take this water onward. And might be able to, may not actually. Now that, uh, yeah, let's move this one. We can do that. We can move the this thing over here. There we go. That's better. So now, perfect, nice, yay. Perfect, nice, yay. That's what we're going for. <laughs> that is definitely what we're going for here. All right, so let's add, just, just try this out. Add the next section, and then we'll be able to make a better copy next uh, after this. So this one goes downward, and I think we can stop these um, and not continue them onward, maybe. Uh, I'm kind of like on the fence about that because in red, um, red circuits, are we letting them? Yeah, we stop the, uh, the copper belts, but we don't have to. I mean, it's, I just feel like each, each machine should do their own work. You know, that kind of idea. Uh, we might need more of more copper as well, but is this, I think this might be something is slowed up here. Looks like there's some kind of like slowing mechanism on this belt. So I'm just going to upgrade some of it. I don't know if there's a, a, a chunk there that's yellow, but it certainly looks like it. All right. So at least we're going to get some production productivity here. Hopefully one day, one day, maybe, maybe. Okay. So this is making artillery shells now. This is good. Very good. So now let's take this next section M for goddess mode. Um, should we, well, I guess we should do the opposite side as well. Like flip this whole thing around. Yeah, I guess we should, shouldn't we? Let's see. Is the other side getting sulfur? Yes, it is. We just need to copy it over. Let's just do this copy here. On this side, for example, let's take that and put it over here. So this needs to be there. Okay, that's fine. And just, oh no, 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 no. Control Z, control X. Why is it not control Zing any of this? There you go. There we go. Okay, so this looks like that. All right. So we need to remove these guys. Oopsies. Where is my character? There we go. There we go. And do this. That's another way to put it on that side of the belt, by the way. I don't know what this belt is for. I do not know. Now this needs to be copied as well. So let's see. Let's copy this one again. Put this here. Okay. And then we do this bit, the fun bit. Let's copy this and then flip it. F for flip. Uh huh. This is what we need. Okay. This has to go as well. Let's get rid of this right now. 
get rid of this one right now, too. Okay, some stuff is going way wrong here. This needs to go like this. But then that... Yes, perfect. Better, better. That goes here. This goes there. Control V and put this one here again. Okay. Yeah, that actually works right there, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. And this can go... the opposite side. So there. Because that doesn't need to be there. And this also doesn't need to be there. What? Wait, where is this going? Where is this going? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, this was direct feeding, I see. That's why that went... I was like, what is that going on with? What? What is that doing? So now, you are... Oh, that's perfect. So you don't need this, but you do need that. This one is outputting to that belt there. Okay, that looks good. Very nice. Okay, so that is actually working quite well here. Though we need to move the coal belt down here. Okay, so that has to be a that instead. And turn right. Okay, good. Fantastic. Beautiful. So, M for goddess mode again, and let's copy the whole thing over now. Uh, taking these guys with us, and just kind of doing the same thing, lining it up nicely, so everything is going to work. We like when things work. Alright, we're going to take that belt down, but the rest can have a gap. Yep, that's our gap. That's just fine. Works, works a treat. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Now then, we have... We have this belt here. Not sure if we're going to use that or not. Looks like we need a bit of space here. Does that work? It does, actually. Look at that. But this, however, does not work. Well, it does technically, right? Because we don't need to move that one there. Yes, that's very nice. Okay, cool. Very, very nice. So this one can go like that. So now we're getting many artillery shells. And let's keep this going. We need more of this. And more greedy for artillery. I think that's good, though. I think that's good. So now I'm running nanobots and regular bots. I guess I can probably get rid of the nanobots. Though they're very good for placing lights at uh, certain junctures, that's for sure. So, yes, very nice. Is this getting... Oh, this is not getting um, stuff. So let's make it get stuff. <laughs> okay, and take this here. That can actually be here, I think. Nice, so now this one can contribute with the sulfur, just making sure that we get enough sulfur for the entire production line. So, that's working, that's working. Just make sure all of our heavy shell things are going to get stuff. But we need, it looks like we do need to add roboports here for these areas where they're not quite getting the, the radars. Let's make sure all the others are covered. Yeah, they're all covered. That's nice. Okay, great. Wow, we got artillery shells. This is kind of fantastic. Look at that. It does look like we're really short on sulfur. We might need more. We could put these uh, speed modules here. I think that might be the solution for this. Because we have tons of petroleum gas. That is not a problem. We got tons of everything else. Water is unlimited, basically. So that's going to be uh, easier going down the line. It does look like it's backing up at this point, though. So that's nice. But we, we also have no steel. Why don't we have steel? Oh, dear. Okay. Steel is now a problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Steel is now a problem. Look at this. No. Oh, no. New problem. Well, yay. New problems, right? <laughs> that's what it is. 
Yay, new problems. All right, let's go and grab a reactor if we possibly can. There might be one in the box. Let's see, is there one in the box? No, but there might be one in the Spidertron land. No? What? Question mark? Hello? Why? Oh, uh, how has this not created a new thing? That is so weird. Okay. All right. I'm going to rescue some more blue chips. Let's go and get them. Let's go find them. Help. Help. You? No. You? No. Hello? No. Uh, you? No, you don't have any. Ever. You never have any. Okay. Alright, uh, so I don't know where them blue chips are. Okay, 199. Dude. Can I have one more, please? One more blue chip. Oh, there's two. Hooray. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get us a new, another reactor. I want to have another reactor because with this many legs and many roboports and lasers and stuff, that's really where you see the difference in needing a lot of energy. So this is our, our wonderful power suit. We are fast as wind. We're doing great. Oh my gosh, we're using so much iron here. But when these things run out of stuff to make, they're going to be fine. So this thing is going to make how many? What's it set for? 300. And then all the iron is going to get to go to the rest of the bus. It's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, this is great. We are getting artillery shells made. I'm excited. This is so good. Do we have any artillery weapons yet? Are you serious? What? Why are we not getting concrete? Where is the concrete made? All right, fine factory, concrete, hello. Where is it? Dude. Okay, here is the concrete. Where? It's being made, oh, it needs this. I just need product. There we go. It's put in a box. Why is it not getting any what it needs? Ingredient shortage. All right, let's check on this. Let's check on this because I, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. That is very, very strange. Not working for me, clearly. We need iron ore. Oh. Oh. Why is this not getting iron ore? Oh, God, that's the wrong one to shift. Okay, we do need this iron up here. Do we have an extra iron line at all? Let's see. No, we don't. We're, they're all getting used. They're all getting used. No. Ay, ay, ay. This is just a mess and a half, isn't it? Oh, boy, oh, boy. We need more iron. More, more, more. Help. Okay, well... This might be a later land problem, basically. Like, we need iron from the world now to supplement our vast and growing hunger to eat iron for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep. Okay, well. Oh, and look at this. We need... Oh, okay. Fun. This must be the green circuit train, not here. Yes, that would be that. Anyway, this seems like a good stopping point. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.